Hello, Miss Steele here. So this week we are talking about cubism and abstract art. So we're dealing a lot with the shapes and lines and color. So for this project, we're going to be making our own abstract cubist fruit bowl. So you want a piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser. You want something to color in with, and I'm actually going to be using oil pastels for this. So if you have those, you can use those. If you don't, you can use markers, colored pencils, crowns, whatever you have. And then I'm going to be painting in my background. So I have paints and a water cup and all that fun stuff as well. So we are going to start making our cubist fruit bowl. So for this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to draw fruit and we want it to be made up of a lot of straight lines. We don't want to have many curved lines because cubism deals with a lot of geometric shapes. So first we want to draw our fruit bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a straight line about two thirds of the way down my paper like that. And then I'm going to make the edges of my fruit bowl and yours might look a little bit different than mine. I'm just trying to use a bunch of straight lines to make my fruit bowl. So I have that started. So I started with a straight line on the top. Then I had kind of two curved lines going down the side. And then I just tried to use a bunch of straight lines to draw my fruit bowl. And now I'm going to draw the stand for my fruit bowl. I'm drawing just a bunch of straight lines until I get a shape that I like like that. Right here behind my fruit bowl, I'm going to draw two straight lines on either side so I can have a table that it's sitting on. And then we're good. So now what I can do is I can start stacking up fruit inside here. And whatever kind of fruit you want to add is up to you. But what you want to try to do is draw it using straight lines. So my first thing I'm going to try to draw, maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger, is I'm going to try to draw a pineapple. And again, I'm just using straight lines. I'm drawing kind of light so I can go back and erase if I need to. But since this is cubus, you want to try to draw all of your fruit using straight lines. You can do different fruit than me too. You do not have to do the same fruit as me. So I have my pineapple. I'm going to turn the brightness down so you can see a little bit better. And I'm going to keep adding in some different fruit in here. I think right now I'm going to try to draw a pear. And then maybe right in behind here, I'm going to add in some grapes. So I'm just drawing a bunch of straight lines for my grapes. You can round them out like with how you're drawing your lines. But you want to keep straight lines for this. I want you to try to draw at least four different fruits. I'm going to try to fit in some more. And kind of once you get going with using straight lines to draw things, it does tend to get a little bit quicker. I like a little leaf coming up there. So I have a pineapple, I have some grapes, I have a pear. I think I'm going to go in over here and I'm going to try to make some apples like this. Keep going. I'm going to draw some apples. Like it's all stacked up together. So now I have four different fruits in my fruit bowl. But I think I'm going to add some more right here behind. And I'm going to try to add in some like lemon shapes. And again, I'm just trying to draw this using only straight lines. So 
So I have a lemon here, a lemon here. I have some fruits, or I have some grapes, and I think right behind here, I'm gonna add in some more, and instead of being grapes, these are gonna be cherries. And so I'm drawing a little triangle on the top for the stem. Okay, so we have the fruit bowl that we have drawn using uh, straight lines for cubism. I have an apple, a pear, I have some lemons, some cherries, a pineapple, and some grapes. So now my next step would be going in and getting these colored in. Since I'm using oil pastels, I'm gonna start by adding my outline. You might not be using oil pastels, you might be using something else. So I'm going to work on getting my fruit colored, and then we're going to move on to getting the bowl and the table and all of that fun stuff colored in. So I'm going to work on getting this colored in, and then we're going to look at getting the fruit bowl and the table in the back. All right, so I have mine colored in using the oil pastels that I had. Some highlights in here. So now the only step that's left is getting my fruit bowl colored in, and then I think I'm gonna paint my background, so I think I'm just going to outline my table to fill it in. So I'm just gonna outline this, color in my fruit bowl, and then I'm going to use paint for my background and my table. So I'm going to get this colored in and painted, and then we will see it once it's all done. All right, just like that, I have my Cubist Abstracted Fruit Bowl finished. We drew fruit using straight lines. I colored mine in with oil pastels, but you can use whatever you have. And I'm excited to see how these come out. I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, your evening, your afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Bye.